we can actually get in there and remove all of this stuff. We're gonna start at the front and work our way backwards. That's the steering box and tie rods. That's all been removed. Well done, John. This is what's left. This yeah. is Dom's handbrake cable. What are the... Ch Hello? What is it? Wedged underneath the handbrake no. cable. Does it actually say Zippo? Let's have a little look, hold it. Oh yeah, look. Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. Thank you so much for joining us for another video. How could you not? Another Porsche episode, back to back. We're gonna get into it this week as well. It's gonna be a good one. It's now Bank Holiday Monday. Um, obviously bank holidays are irrelevant here. It's just Monday. <laughs> this is actually a big day for me. It's now about half past two in the afternoon. Um, I've been to Tunbridge Wells to BBC Radio Kent this morning. Uh, we did a little live interview there. I've been doing loads of in Instagram bits and bobs, all promoting Make It At Market. You have all been so kind. So thank you for the comments, the lovely comments um, about the new show. The show is on at half four. Um, so I'm sort of anxiously pacing around the workshop, just like watching the clock, like, oh, it's gonna be on soon. There's a new series of Repair Shop on first, then straight after that is Make It At Market. But all, you already know that, obviously, because you'll have just watched it. Let me know what you think of the new show. Leave a comment below. Um, I will read them all and I'll pass them all on and uh, to the producers of the show so they'll all see them. I've had a few hours this afternoon in the workshop working on Ranelagh number three. It's now gray, standing next to the completed one which is almost ready to be delivered. Well, it is ready to be delivered, I just need the time. They're stacking up now, they're looking quite good. It's quite nice coming in the workshop and seeing four Ranellers all in a line. Starting to feel a little bit more like the Ranneller factory in here, <laughs> isn't it? John is not here. John is coming up tomorrow, Tuesday. Um, but I, now we've started on the Porsche, I'm itching. Well, not actually itching because all that insulation is gone, thankfully. So I thought I'd come in for a few hours now, get on with that Ranneller. I've got a coat of paint on that wheeling machine. So that is done. That's drying. Shall I start on the Porsche? If one little job ticked off the list will be better than nothing. Let's wander over and have a look, see what we can do. You know what, we actually did really well. In one day, we've stripped out so much, it's almost a bare shell and it's actually looking better for it. It's weird, I don't know why, but it's just a more of a blank canvas now, which is quite nice. This quarter is bugging me. I can't decide if this panel has been replaced. I know the back end has obviously been cut off previously and welded back on and I've cut it back off where they cut it off. But there's some funny stuff going on. The more I look at it, there's definitely filler in there underneath that, been painted in this red oxide primer. The rear by the engine lid is creased and wrinkled up and it's not, that's not original. But it's this A pillar that's making, this, the A pillar is stressing me out the most because there's this funny old well down it which is not original so i'm thinking now it's like has somebody cut it there and replaced the whole back end for a, another one somewhere around here there's a factory join and the only way to find out is to grind and strip all of that paint off remove it all back to the bare metal and see what's underneath basically Look at the state of that, holy moly. <laughs> I've used that wire wheel attachment to remove the bulk of the filler. And I know people say you use a heat gun and scrape it and there's other better tools for it, but the wire wheel's what I've got here and it, it, it works. It doesn't put too much heat in the panel. Um, it makes a mess, yes, but hey, I've got a broom, <laughs> it's fine. I've got a bit more cautious over this area with a sander because there's no filler up here and I'm just sort of, clinging on that there might be any original paint. Um, this is not the original paint, I don't think. Um, and you can sort of tell in this little section here. So you can sort of, you can tell this is bare metal. Then there's a gray primer. Then there's this lovely sort of sea blue color. Then a darker one and then a lighter one. You can see the layers, it's almost like a tree, like the rings of a tree. This color that's all over here is on top of that blue, that, that blue, that gray, and then the bare metal. So there's no way that this color is the original paint because it's got two different blues underneath it. You could well be mistaken for thinking that that is the original blue paint, get that color matched, match the paint to that, repaint the whole car, and actually 
it's way off. I've got some really good references of absolute original paint, um, the glove box door, bits of in the interior, bits that have been hidden inside behind the doors and things like that, that I know are the original color. So I will go and grab one of those now and offer, offer it up to that. It's just nice to know, it probably is completely irrelevant because I've got other areas where there's better sections of original paint for reference. So I'm not saying this is gonna go in the bin, but it, I think it's gonna to have to come off so I can gain access to the panels further in. But for now, I'm gonna keep on sanding. that suspicious looking world has got <laughs> a lot worse to as to be expected I guess but there is good news here actually so this big horrible patch I think is rust repair they've actually welded on this whole plate but it doesn't go all the way and this top bit is what it should look like uh, but you can see there's evidence of rust but as I've, as I've sanded back through the paint, you can see, and I'm quite convinced actually, that this whole top edge is all factory. That's all original. So actually, I don't think this rear quarter has been changed at all, which is lovely. That's really, really nice to know that that is the original steel, the original German steel. I quite like that. Um, and I'll do my best to keep it. We're gradually uncovering all of these little secrets that are hidden inside this little Porsche. I wish it could speak. It could just tell us what happened. <laughs> This all looks nice, this section. I've ground this back, sanded back here. Nice, you could see all the factory spot welds and the original lead. This shiny silver is actually lead, where they would lead load, uh, essentially like, almost like a filler, but that would be done in the factory. And that will run across here somewhere where the join in the panel would be for the two panels. That will all be lead there. I'll eventually uncover that, but I don't need to at the moment because I know that I'm confident there's no filler in there and there's no big horrible weld. It's just a little patch over that pillar. And it's almost now time for Make It A Market to start. So I'm gonna sweep up. John is back up tomorrow. So to be continued, see you in the morning. <laughs> Well, good morning, Tuesday morning. Welcome back to the workshop. The Porsche is still here. Nobody's fixed it overnight for us. <laughs> the first job of the day is gonna be to put that gearbox up on the racking. I've cleaned it, degreased it, pallet wrapped it, sprayed it with WD-40 so it doesn't go rusty. For the minute, I cannot lift it up there on my own. Um, John's not gonna be thrilled that the first job of the day is a bit heavy lifting. <laughs> Wait for the moaning. We're gonna finish taking off all of the bolt bolted on parts on the back. And then I think we'll go on to, if there's time, we'll start stripping down the doors. John is a bit of a master of that. He's rebuilt so many of these doors at Carmen Connection where he works and he works on Porsches in his own workshop all the time. So we'll get those up on the bench and we'll have a bit of a masterclass from John, how to disassemble a 356 door. I reckon today's gonna to be big. A good day. Good day. We're gonna complete disassembly. I think we're absolutely gonna demoralize Dom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure this is the best first, first job of the day. Lift, mate, I don't know. Grab that bit and I've got that bit. This bit. Oh my God, that's so much lighter. Oh my God. Go on, pass. Dom, come here. Scrap that. Chuck that in the skip. <laughs> that, keep that. Careful with the patina yeah, on that. Yeah, there's patina on that. Door rubbers. Oh my God. Look there's... at that though, look. Original carpet sample. Oh, great. Yeah, lovely. Do you reckon I could do it on my own? No. Well, I reckon you could, but you you'd be silly. You'd be silly to do it on your own when there's two of us here. This is John here. Don't mind the do, nose. Do you really think you were going to do that on your own now? <laughs> <laughs> we can't both step in there. Well. I'd like to go up that way. Don't why, you do it on that? your own. I've got it. <laughs> Look, get that over oh, here. Oh. <laughs> hey, stronger than I thought. That this is a, probably not the best bit of wrapping you've done, though. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> All right, John, I can tell you're not paying for the stuff. Dear me. <laughs> Have a look at this B pillar. Here we go. <laughs> Brace yourself. I guess this is when they really had no value, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, sort of repair I was doing in the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> the newspaper. I think, but basically what I've concluded, which I hope you'll agree, <laughs> I know, oh, all the way down, all the way, all the way down. It's in a massive crease down there. But I've concluded that, I think, looking at this rot up here, it was just rusty like that all the way down. 
because I had a fear that they'd replace this whole quarter at some point, and that was a world of the new one. Yeah. But I think this is original because up here, all of this looks quite factory. And there's no filler up here. No, it doesn't. And it just looks like they've plated over a rotten B pillar. So I'm going to cut it off and have a look. Wow. What do you think? I think you're, you're a very brave man, but yeah, it's no good. It's got to go. It's got to go. That's no good to no one, is it? I'm not sure if it was just rot. I mean, that was some severe accident damage. I reckon they pulled it to try and bring it back out. Well, that's all gone in. Uh, so whatever this scrape all the way down is, maybe caught the corner here and I reckon that all it went, in, it all folded yeah, in. Yeah, it's gone, isn't it? Well, what have you got on the inside when you look at it? Rot. No. How strange. Let's get the light. I need to have a look at that, Dom. Yeah. I need to investigate from the inside. Let me get my big hat in the way. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to take some more parts off of old Rusty here. What are you going for next? Uh, my glasses, and when I found them, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to start high and work my way to the lower stuff. Will you leave these hinges on? I'm taking them off. No, 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 they need to stay. They don't work. Oh. I apologise. It is definitely rotted out on that repair. It's not accident damage. Oh, that repair is rust. That's confirmed. Rust. Yeah. By the professional. No, but every other piece of the car I've looked at is rust. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Right. Go on. All right, now, now no one can lean on the back of the car. Yeah. <laughs> Latch is on fire, dude. Lovely job. Well, we've got the fire extinguisher at the ready. Good. The fire. The water. It's coming off for the first time in 70 years. <laughs> oh, my life. I think we'll be reusing that one, Dom. Pop! Lovely. That's it, that'll do you. That is on fire now, hang on. Very smelly. That's a, it's come to a standstill, Dom. I need to hold my shocker still with, like a nice big grip or something. The heat did, did work, but John's rounded off the nut, so. <laughs> How'd you get on, Dom? That's got it. Hey, has the exhaust removed? Well, it's not the exhaust. <laughs> <laughs> the heat exchanger tube. Oh man, that'll go again. It's definitely a dry state motor. Right. What's that, the cable that goes to the well, knob a... on the tunnel? No, that's the heater control rod. And it would have gone from that to the flapper box on the engine. Ah, to the, okay. There it is, look. Open shut, open shut. So this would go to the heat exchanger or the flapper box, as they call it, on the engine. Yeah. And then you'd have a, equally, you'd have a cable coming from the other side of the flapper box back to the car. So when you turn the knob inside, it would operate this. Open the flapper box yeah. and that. And that at and the same that. time. It would do both. Yeah. I've melted both shock absorbers. <laughs> <laughs> They're completely destroyed. Yeah, chop one in half as well. Both shocks are off. Then they're underneath now. John has had his head under there. There's basically these kind of things that look like an exhaust back box that are <laughs> to do with the hot air that comes from the engine. And there's a flappy controller there that you can control from the cab that opens a little flap and then the hot air from the, not from the exhaust, around the exhaust, uh, go through these little boxes into the car to keep, my, keep me 
nice and toasty warm. Keep your feet nice and Keep warm. Keep my feet nice and warm. The heater boxes are underneath. One of them is off. The second one is about to come off. And I will confess, I took off the regulator from the firewall and John didn't film it. So. <laughs> <laughs> there seems to be movement, John. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. I think we found the mouse nest. Oh, who's going to put... Who, that's your oh. interior there, mate. Uh, well, you've got gloves on, John. Oh, there it goes, Dom. Oh, man. How did he get in there? This will explain why that's all rotted out, that tube. Well, Great. if it didn't have an engine in, they could have just gone and made themselves at home. Right, well, we've made something homeless. So. John has now got his head underneath the dash. This is a little grab handle on the passenger side. It's officially the last piece <laughs> to unbolt from the car. There what? are bits that are still on the car, rear uh, engine lid hinges and the door catches and stuff like that, because I need to leave those on for future sort of lining things up. But this is the last piece that we're actually going to unbolt. After this, we can get started on the doors. Ta -da! Look at that manky old thing. Blimey, Don, what did they set the concrete in this? Lightweight one? doors. There's going to be, there's got to be something inside. It can't be that heavy for no reason at all. Let's lay it down. You're all right laying it on that? Yeah, you're on now. Okay. The door's complete with the trim and everything. There's glass in there, the door top, the hinges, it's all there. So we can, <laughs> when we come to it in five or six years and we're rebuilding the door. <laughs> we're sure. We can, we'll, back, we'll be back in this point, but it will be a freshly painted door, new chrome door top and all new interior. So we'll have to come back to this moment in a few years once we're putting it back together. But for now, we're gonna strip this down because there's a lot of parts here that I wanna keep that is too heavy. I want just the bare door frame so we can offer it up and try it in the hole. So John is hopefully gonna tear it down carefully. Carefully. What do you think? It looks nice. I mean, this isn't great here. No, that's not great. It's a funny weld along there, and then sort of, I don't know <laughs> what's happened there. Mouth. <laughs> and then back. And then back again. Like they've cut it and peeled it back for some reason, and then peeled it back. I don't know. But then it would be folded here. I really don't know what's happened. I've got no explanation for that. Every panel, when the car was made, had a number stamped on it. So the door, the bonnet, the engine lid. So, if they're all corresponding, then Don may have nearly a matching numbers car. Yeah, the original. <laughs> so where's the number, do you know? The number will be around about this area. On the actual door frame. Right? Actually, on the actual frame. So if we can get this door card off, see if we can find it. What do you mean that doesn't come off like that? It just pops right off. Oh, oh you made a meal of that, dim me. Didn't I? Oh, look at the original brown. Number one. Almost looks like a bit of baker like, Dom. There is none. Put that in the re-chroming pile. So dangerous with them original. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, the pin's gone. No? No, the pin's still there, but look at that. Here we go, for the first time in a while. What are we going to find behind this door card? <laughs> yeah. And there we have it. One. That's right. That is right. Wow, all so right. that's and all factory. Paper. That's, yeah. that's, what a piece of carpet off cut oh, back mate, in there. Used, look, that's, yeah, how's that? Yeah. Is that your interior. Yeah, that's good. I'll leave it yeah. on there. I didn't, yeah. take, I didn't take it off, Dom. Only one spring. Oh no, John, you ripped the paper. Oh, hello. Have oh, a word. John. Right, that's it. I'm <laughs> off. Oh no. I'm off. Amazingly, actually, good reference for original paint. Oh, well, not really. It's sort of overspray, isn't it? It's not I really. Think, yeah, true. There's quite heavy, though. Yeah, nice. Mm. Not too much rust. All right. There it is. What's that? Your number. Go on, what should it be? Let me look at the chassis number first. Eight, eight, four. The last three numbers of my chassis number. That's what we want to see on the door. So hopefully. Eight, eight, five. No, no, it's four. It's four. 
It's, yeah. <laughs> That's really cool. That may seem like quite a trivial, silly thing. It certainly does to John. He's not bothered at all. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm quite excited. It's got the original door. Think everything this car's been through, quite a lot apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is. It certainly has been through some, some troubles. And the doors, or this door at least, is the original door that was fitted in the factory. It's one of the best You're ones. You're going to have I've... to go down again. It's one of the best ones I've felt, Dom. Ever. You're saying something nice about the car. Yeah. Finally. Oh, well, you're coming around to it. Obviously, the passenger never wound the window down. There was never a passenger. That's it. It's a race car. Race, you see, yeah. There we go. It's not bad. The doors are full of good news. They're the gift that keep on giving, aren't they? Oh, well. Oh. <laughs> All right, should we take the door handle off? Rubber's holding it on. There we go. For the first time. That's it. Dan will make it look nice and smooth, I'm sure. Oh, Dan, <laughs> help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> April 57. Oh. Is that his birthday? Well, that's been that. It was the window winder's birthday. Come on. Oh, look. There it is. Yes. One frame. And then we only had to smash the window. Yeah, let's try and destroy the door. Perfect. Well, that's going back in in a second, but that's good. Oh, I'd be like that. I imagine that's going to be no good, though, is it? Well, you'll have to clean it up and assess. Are they all stamped, Sigla, whatever it is? Oh, yeah, look. Oh, that's so much lighter. Oh, I bet that's a lot lighter. That's it. Last piece removed. Oh, well, apart from that piece, oh, my. the mouth left behind, Dom. There's a lot of, yeah, that's it. There's one empty door. Mm. We've oh. got to do all that again now on the other side. Excellent. <laughs> John is up the other end of the workshop, still fighting with that door. It's taking so long working <laughs> on that one door. I'm going to cut this piece, this little patch that they've welded on over the top of this B pillar. I'm going to try and angle grind it through the world and cut it off and see if I can remove that piece, but leave the rest of the A pillar intact. That's the plan anyway. Here we go. You sure? Wow, what a mess. <laughs> now John has stripped all the innards out. I've, got, I've had him rebuild them with just the frame and the latch so we can actually get them bolted on to the A-pillars and shutting and latching and hopefully fitting in the hole. It, I will admit it's a little bit of a pointless task because they're coming back off again, but I just want to know that the aperture for the door is the right size to actually fit the door in. Now we know they're both the original mm. matching numbers doors, there should be no reason why, well, no reason why they wouldn't fit other than a crash, <laughs> accident damage, <laughs> rust. Uh, yeah, so there are plenty of reasons. So I want, for peace of mind, we're gonna try and bolt this door on and see if we can actually get it swinging and latching and see what that sort of body line looks like flowing down the rest of the body. See, simple, <laughs> easy. Yeah, let's do it. Here oh, we you, go. You make it look easy, Dom. Ouch. <laughs> Whoa, come Slide round. it straight in. Get yeah, mind the paint. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, mind the paint. Okay, just for the record. You got it? This is not how you put the hinges on. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> we should knock the hinge pin apart. Knock the hinge pin out. Oh, are you worried about the, the Porsche enthusiasts telling us this is wrong? It is wrong. It, come down. Coming down. I can't come down anymore. Right. Do you want to pivot? That's good. Right, now, bearing in mind, we have not like it could be too low it could be anything we don't know could this be is the maiden yeah look at that there's now good looks huh 
Oh. That's not the look we're going for, is it? So it's not far off. No slams. Ah. Oh. oh. I think we need to remove. I mean, we've obviously got some issues with the. Uh, <laughs> you think? With the B pillar. <laughs> it's certainly got some issues, but the fact that that door latches like that. Is it up? Not like that. That was in. Oh, it's just in. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Hey. Oh, yes. Like a Volkswagen. This is not a bad line. Yeah, this is, bear in mind, this is the only, this two this. inches here is the original piece. I like this. It's That's really bad. good. I'm almost starting to. Look, look at that, look. Yeah, it actually looks like it belongs. Doesn't it? Yeah. On telly anyway. Door fits in the hole really, really nicely. I know it needs some work. We need to shim it out right. The seal is sort of stopping at the bottom a little bit, but that's all being cut off anyway. But just, I'm chuffed. I think that's really, really good. What do you reckon, John? If you're happy, Dom, I am happy. He, he still thinks I'm mad, but <laughs> <laughs> basically. Yeah. That's awesome. That's really good. Well, a coat of paint and we'll be on the road next week. Exactly. Put the engine in, let's go for it. <laughs> no, um, we're calling it a day. So that is the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Leave us a comment below if you've got any feedback for us. We're all ears, aren't we? Absolutely. Thanks for watching. We'll see Thanks you next sir. time. Cheers. There's a few bits on the front that I can actually chop off as well. Yes. Hey, there we go. I'm actually quite chuffed with that. Don, what about... Make it at Margate. <laughs> you, you could do like a, a circus adventure thing. Well, just because it rhymes. <laughs>